I'm Richard Needham from the National Science Learning Centre and I'm going to show you a technique called time-lapse photography. And the reason I'm showing you this is that I think it can help children understand those processes in science which are often quite gradual or they happen outside the classroom and it gives children an opportunity to study things which normally they'd only read about in books. So what I need for this is a mobile device and we choose to use iPods for this because they're easier to manage, but any mobile device could be used. And it has on it an application for recording motion at whatever interval I set. The technique I'm going to use this morning is with plants, and we're going to show how plants bend towards the light. But you could use it in a number of other situations. You could use it to record the motion of the planets, or you could grow crystals, or you could film animal behavior. All of these things amenable to a time-lapse approach so that you can condense slow action into just a few seconds. So in this box I've got some seedlings. They're radish seedlings and they've been growing for a week now and the only light they can get is through that hole there. So I'm hoping that they'll all be bending over towards the light and in a minute we'll get them out, put them in front of the camera and twizzle the light round and see how long it takes them to unbend themselves. So the first thing I'm going to do is to get the software on the camera so that it can record the video. And for this particular example, we're going to record it for 30 minutes. And I'm going to make sure that we get about 150 frames. So that means I need a time interval of about 12 seconds between each frame. So that's set up now. And I need to put the device somewhere so that it's not going to wobble during the recording. So I'm going to use this block of wood to hold it in place. So that's set up, ready. We probably need the lamp on today because it's a fairly dull day outside. And we're going to put the seedlings in front of the lamp. There they are. And I'm going to start recording. So press record. And I'm going to turn them around now. And we're now measuring how long it takes them to unbend themselves. Okay, so looking at the results on here, when we play it back, we can see that there's a good 15 minutes before the plant starts to respond. And I think it's a really good opportunity for children to organise their own investigations, find out what goes on in that 15 minutes. So does it make a difference what temperature it is? Or if you put a filter in front of the light, does that change the way it responds? These are kinds of open-ended questions that gives children a real insight into understanding the science behind the way plants move. Mm -hmm. 